Okay, so now I'm going to show you the method I use to clean the computer. You could do it a million different ways. This is just what I do. You want to make the computer look nice when you're taking pic before you take the pictures and you want the person to have a nice clean computer when you sell it to them. So I always clean it off and it always makes a huge difference. This one is one that has a lot of dust on it. I don't know if you could see that. So make sure the computer's got all the dust removed. You can use a dust rag and clean the dust off. I also like, like say I have to flip the computer over, throw a towel down so you don't scratch it. Because I've had stuff repaired in the past and it's like they don't know or understand or care that there's going to be scratches on it. So they just put it on their table and they move it all around like an idiot. So be a nice person, turn and put it on a towel like this so it's no scratches and then you know finish dusting off. If there's a lot of dust that's not coming up or dust in hard to reach places, get some paint brushes, man. They're key for this. And they just and just brush through. You could get through all the little holes with a paintbrush. When I had my computer shop, I used paintbrushes more than you could even know to just get in all the little cracks you need to get into. And then open it up and dust the inside too. Now be careful with the screen. Like I'm doing the keyboard with the towel here. Maybe if you want to, if the screen is dusty, do a light, very light with the towel on the screen, but just make sure you don't scratch the screen. Screen is like the precious area. So just get the dust off like that. Hit it with your paintbrush if you want. If there's dust or particles in the trackpad, keyboard, even on the screen. I've paintbrushed the screen many times. It does a great job. Okay, so now we have all the dust off. So now it's time to get smears off. Like this, I don't know if this camera can see it, but there's like oily smears on this because I'm Italian and this used to be my computer and I've used this. So I use alcohol and cotton. I don't want to say cotton circles. These are cotton ovals because they're bigger. <laughs> they cost more, but you go through less of them. So something like that. And so I'll just pop open the alcohol Put it on the air, do one of these. You don't want too much alcohol, it just gets a little messy. And then just go over the surface of the computer, the keyboard, with the pad. And it gets off all the smudges and grease and oil that you want to get off. Now sometimes alcohol leaves streaks on the, if it's done on the wrong surface, but you could just you could actually get the streaks off with a clean pad. So if it is streaking a little bit, just wipe off the streaky alcohol with a clean pad. If there's any rubber, the cotton likes to stick to the rubber, but I mean, for the most part here, we have a nice clean palm rest and keyboard. All right, so I like to use a new clean pad if you're gonna to touch the screen. Hit it with some alcohol and just go over the screen if it has any scratches or, or marks on it. This will do a good job of taking it off, but it might smear the screen too. So again, after you hit it with alcohol, hit it with a clean pad that doesn't have any alcohol on it and usually you have a freaking perfect screen. And then close it up and just do the same on the outside. Get all the scratches or the marks off smears and flip it around and hit it the bottom and if there's streaks on it hit it with a clean pad again with no alcohol on it get the streaks off and things should look as good as new if you do this. And now you can take some pictures and not worry about how dirty it is. And you should be worried about that. I mean, I've turned, I've looked past and turned away so many items I wanted to buy, but they were just, you could tell that the computer was trashed, not clean, dust, stickers peeling off, keys missing. So just try to make your computer look as beautiful as possible using the methods I showed you and then it'll be ready for pictures and the person who's buying it will be happy to get it. 
All right, and then I actually like to clean off the power brick too, the same way. So here's a power brick. I'm just gonna unplug it from the wall. Let's close this guy up. Move him aside. And then do the same thing with the power brick. Just clean it off with a pad that has alcohol on it. And when I like to do this, just take the whole thing, squeeze the cotton um, pads in your hand and just run the wire through and it takes off a lot of dirt. And trust me, this makes a difference. People are happy when their computers look like new.